Hey, it's the old Florida boy back with you. It's been a while since I did a video, about a month or so. Uh, got a new job, been working a lot, you know. I go to work at at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I usually don't get home till 6 o'clock at night, five days a week. So that kind of puts a crimp in my video production time. But uh, I was going to do a video today, but, you know, we're getting a cold front coming over. Cold front, still 80 degrees. But it's really rainy and blustery, so I thought I'd show you... Uh, a nice little item that I picked up at the flea market. It's a little canvas backpack that I think I can make into a haversack. And I've never done any haversack type of thing before. I've seen a lot of stuff on it on YouTube, but I'll show you what, I, what I'm doing and what I'm thinking about doing. And I need a couple of suggestions from, from you guys that have done haversacks before. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I'm looking at. Okay, so I went out to the flea market. And I got this little backpack. I mean, and it's pretty cool. You know, it's just, it's just got the canvas, you know, the canvas sides. And, you know, canvas top. You know, it's about, it's about 14 by 13 by about 6 inches deep. And I put a little, uh, little false bottom in there for cardboard. And it's kind of a nifty little backpack. I really like it because you see this snap is on the underside of the straps and this and it's got a back compartment in it this back compartment is excellent to put a five by seven tarp in and when you put the tarp in there and snap it closed it stands up on its own so so this is against your back and this is the outside part and also on the inside i don't know whether you'll be able to see this but on the inside it's got another inside compartment it's, it's kind of hang. It's got another inside compartment on the inside. So it's kind of just an old, an old canvas backpack made in China. You know, it's got the old canvas straps. It's discolored. I paid all of $5 for it. So it had uh, got these little gold snaps because the snaps on it were really, were really bad. So uh, I just took my Dremel and cut a little slot in there cut the old straps off, put these new strap buttons on. So now I got some nice gold strap buttons. So it goes on like this. Why I like it is, I'll show you in just a second. All right. Straps aren't really very padded, but there's not a heck of a lot you can put in the pack. But what I like about it is, let's see if I can move this a little lower. The pack rides high up on my back. So I think that I'll that I'll be able to wear, to wear this pack and put a lot of stuff in the pack, and I'll still be able to wear my my Alice belt kit along with it. So that's why one of the reasons why I really like this pack is a nice little canvas pack, um, and it's not too bad. But I had an idea, and one of the ideas was we'll just unsnap these straps, okay. So now we have a situation like this, where we have the two, the two straps. Now, I thought that all I would do is just go like this and attach these straps together so that I can make a haversack out of it. Except, I don't really know how to, how to attach these straps, how I can attach these straps. I could use like a snap ring. Uh, this is why I need some help from the audience. If you have any ideas how I can attach these, here's what I have. I have a chain link, all right, that you can attach links to chain. So it, th this is easy enough. You know, all you got to do is just put that in there. Uh, let me get this right. Yeah, put that in there. Uh, put that in there. Okay. Now, it's going to attach like that. However, when I put it on as a haversack, like this, it would work. It would work just fine as a haversack type of thing. You know, it's that this wouldn't be too bad. 
The only problem is that is right where you don't want it to be. And I think, you know, I have to invent some kind of pad. But here we go. I got a nice little convertible um, backpack and haversack. And when you get to where you're going, uh, if you don't want the haversack anymore, you just take out this link and attach it with the with the snaps. So that's kind of my dilemma with this little pack. I really like it, and like I said, I only paid five bucks for it. You know, I put a little I put a little piece of uh, of uh, paracord there so I can hang a carabiner from it. Uh, it's not bad. I'm going to start taking it out if I can ever go out in the woods. So I can you, you can make it a haversack or or an easy backpack. But here's my here's my dilemma. I got that now. A chain link is about the only way that I can think of to that I can do this, you know. And it's easy enough. You know, all you do is uh, unscrew this chain link and, you know, just take your straps out. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I could leave it like that, you know. Then all, then all you got to do, really, is just re-snap it onto the, re-snap it onto the bottom grommets that are sewed in. Now you got your backpack back, okay? So it's just that quick to transition this thing from the haversack to the backpack. But it's attaching those two straps that I'm kind of having the dilemma on. You know, I got I got the you know the the, the quick link. I guess I could get a smaller quick link. I don't think it's going to be that comfortable on my shoulder, but hey, if anybody's got any other ideas how I can join those two straps together, uh, not permanently, uh, because, you know, once the straps are joined with, with the quick link, uh, I, I retain the adjustability in the straps, you know, and I, could, I can really adjust it and use it as a haversack basically on each side. So if anybody's got any ideas how I can join those two straps together, not permanently, other than the chain quick link, uh, I would appreciate it. Um, once again, I said I've been working a lot. I'm going to try to resume my Canteen Cup Tuesdays because uh, it's a nice park close to where I work, and I, I, I'm going to try to start resuming those. But here we go. Just wanted to put it out and say happy Sunday, everybody. Uh, contrary to the, the rumors of my demise that have been greatly exaggerated, <laughs> I'm going to try to get back out there pretty soon. It's starting to warm up pretty good here. So, and it was really, really dry anyway. I, you know, I couldn't start any kind of a fire. I couldn't do any kind of cooking. But now it's starting to rain a little bit. So I think I'll, I'll be able to go out in the woods and have some fun. So once again, I'd like to say in the left-hand side of the screen, you're going to see some suggested videos. In the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see my subscription bubble. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is Matt, the old Florida boy, saying I'll see you on the trail.